the guy next door. If I can cook, surely you can cook too. Today, let's travel to Malaysia, my homeland, and experience the exotic food that we always provide. And we are one of the best in the world when it comes to also street food. Now, I'm going to show you how to make roja. Roja is a Malay word. It means something that is mixed all together up. And so what we have here is vegetables and fruits. Sometimes they add cuttlefish and with all the spices added in, it makes for a delicious appetizer or even for tea. All right, for a wonderful bowl of roja, cucumber, turnip, and pineapple is always the main ingredient. Others, traditionally, they add raw cuttlefish and even prawn crackers into the roja. Now, what is most important is how to make the sauce. The sauce is what is drizzled on to these three ingredients in a bowl. Let's make the sauce. What we have for the sauce? Pulverized peanuts, blachan or dried shrimps, we call it, chili powder, sugar, and lots of it, dark soy sauce, and light soy sauce. Okay, let's make the sauce. What we have here is blachan or dried shrimps. It is a paste that is very popular amongst Southeast Asians, especially in Malaysia, Singapore, and even Indonesia. Now, this paste, I took a paste more or less, maybe one third of a finger size, and I will add water onto it so as to make it soft. This will be added into the rest of the mixture. Okay. The blachan has been pulverized with water. Okay, so this is going to be added into the sauce. Let's pour it in on the bowl. Add in the sugar. Again, this will depend on the quantity of sauce that you need and how much you are willing to make. Next, dark soy sauce. And then, some light soy sauce. Chili powder, optional for those who doesn't take chili. And the last, peanuts, rounded peanuts. I wonder how this night will be, the apple does not fall, fall from the tree. So, we mix the sugar and everything else together. Now, some people would like to boil it. I don't feel it's necessary. You have to mix it well, thoroughly and well. And I'm using the blachan shrimp paste which is very salty, therefore, I use only a small amount. If you feel the paste is a bit thick, you can add in some 
hot water just to make it smoother no, and not as thick. Make sure that the chili powder, the peanuts, the sugar, the black sauce, the soya sauce, and the belachan has all been thoroughly mixed. Okay, just let me taste. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, there are two ways to eat roja. When after you have cut all the vegetables like cucumber, pineapple, turn, turnip, you take one piece, you dip into the sauce. And you put it into your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Another way. Have a bowl. Put all the ingredients together. Depending on how much you want. And then you scoop a spoonful of the sauce that you make and then you toss it. This is how it is served outside. Not for dipping, not as how you dip it, but when the sauce are all mixed. And after they have mixed the sauce together on two the fruits and the vegetables, they sprinkle in some peanuts. This is how a bowl of rojak looks like, of course in a neater bowl. When I make this to show all of you, I have very fond memories of my childhood when I was sitting at a rojak stall at night in Jones Road, watching the uncle make this rojak. Therefore, that's how I knew what he uses. And it was a very joyful time for us during childhood to have roja for supper. But nowadays, roja has been served not only for supper, it is for even tea, afternoon lunch, dinner. Some people use it as appetizer. So can you. If you like what I have done for you, this recipe, kindly like and share my videos with your friends, with your neighbors. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and do comment. Thank you.